Hello everyone, this is Fariba from WatchKnitting.com and today in this video I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful cross drop stitch. The pattern is made in multiple of uh, 6 stitches plus 2 stitches and repeat of 4 rows. Also it is reversible uh, so it's very good for uh, using in a scarf and those kind of uh, patterns, projects. Uh, I have here 20 stitches to work as this sample. If you want to work for a scarf, you can cast on 70, 74 stitches with a medium yarn and the uh, number of um, needles that I'm using is 2.5 millimeter needles. So let's start with the row 1. So row 1 and row 3 will be the same. And what we're going to do for row 1, we're going to insert the needle and knit it, but we need to uh, wrap the yarn around needle twice for the first stitch and then knit it. So we're going to repeat the same thing for other rows, for other stitches, but we're going to repeat um, wrapping um, yarn three times uh, around the needle. One, two, and three. So for the first and uh, for the last stitch in the row, you need to wrap the yarn twice, and for other stitches, you wrap the yarn around needle three times. One, two, and three. You can adjust the yarn a little bit, don't push it very hard. One, two, and three. When you're doing the next one, you can adjust the yarn by pulling it a little bit. Three. So we're going to repeat the same thing till the end of this row. And my last stitch again twice, one and two. And this was my uh, end of my row one. I got pretty big lengths of the stitches here. Now in row two, I'm gonna undo the first stitch, not undo, but uh, release the stitch from the needle. Put it back to the left needle. Keep this lens here, insert the needle and knit it. So you need to um, have this loop um, as the same um, as the length of the loop you made. Now I need to release six stitches from left needle. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you see, we got six long stitches here. Now what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna insert my left needle to the three stitches in the right. and then slip them over the other three stitches. And 
and again I'm gonna transfer these stitches to my left needle I'm gonna put my finger here between these two um, two stitches two half of stitches and then I'm gonna insert my needle to knit them in order one two and three now the next three stitches one two and three now we got our first cross pattern here I'm gonna repeat the same thing I'm gonna release six stitches again insert the left needle and as you see I push these three stitches down and it helped me to slip them over the other stitches bring it to the tip of needle and slip them over and then put them back to the left needle knit them in the order and this is my second cross in row 2 I will work one more cross in row 2 you need to be careful about the order of stitches because it's very important to have the nicer shape and neat knitting so for the last one again I'm gonna release it put it back and knit it so we ended row 2 and we're gonna repeat row one, which will be my row three here. Exactly the same thing. Twice for the first one and for the last one, and three times for middle stitches. And last stitch of row two. Okay, now in row four, we're gonna offset the row um, two, and for this we need to uh, need three stitches before doing the cross stitch. So for the first stitch, I'm gonna release it and knit it as I always do. And now I'm going to release three stitches. Now I'm going to put it, put them back in the left needle and knit them. So by this you offset the uh, cross stitches in row two. Now I'm going to repeat uh, releasing six stitches one two three four and five 
and six. Now in row four, and instead of inserting left needle in these three stitches, I'm gonna put them back in my left needle all together. And then by right needle, I'm gonna insert to the three stitches in the left side and slip them over the other three stitches. And again, pull them back in the left needle, keep the order, and knit them. As you see, this cross is between the um, two crosses in row 2. I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other six stitches in the row. So transfer them back to the left needle. By getting help from the right needle, pull them over the other three stitches, put them back in the left needle, put your finger between and knit them. Now I need to knit these three stitches as I did in the beginning of the row. And knit my last stitch. Please leave me your comment if you have any questions. You need to repeat these four rows from the beginning for the rest.